So whenever it is that I start off with the topic, I always start with Nexus hardware. Um, so you all know that there are a lot of switches. There are a lot of families in Nexus. There's Nexus 9000, 7000, 6000, 5000, 4000, 3000, 2000, 1000. But we are not going to be going through all of them. Just a couple of families. So we will be studying about 9000. 7000 5000 and nexus 2000 devices all right so i always start off with the hardware first and then move on to technologies that are supported on these hardware devices all right so talking about hardware first is of course nexus 9000 now nexus 9000 switches these are core layer switches very very high capable switches high-end switches all right now what is the speciality about these switches these are the only switches in the entire nexus family that can work with two operating systems installed on it of course one operating system at a time you cannot install both the operating systems on the device at the same time but it can work with either one so the device can work with the normal nexus operating system or you can also install ACI operating system on it. Okay, so depending on what it is that you have installed, the device will behave uh, of a, a certain way. All right, and this functionality is not available on any other Nexus switch, only on 9000. Now, under 9000 family, there are two series. So we have the Nexus 9500 series and there is the 9300 series. So 9500 series are modular. Modular switches or modular devices means that there are certain modules that you have to insert on the device, on the chassis. Um, so what are the different modules? What are the functionalities? Are, are there any variants or types of each of these modules? We'll go through all of these. Along with that, there's also Nexus 9300 devices. 9300 devices, they are all fixed switches. So what are their different hardware models? We'll go through them. Once this is done, then we will be moving on to Nexus 7000. Now, Nexus 7000, again, these are all core layer switches. And please keep it in mind, they can only work with Nexus operating system. It's only on Nexus 9000 that ACI operating system is supported. All right. Now, Nexus 7000 as well as the 7700 series, both of them are modular. Like I mentioned, modular switches have certain modules that you can insert or remove at any point of time. Each of the modules have their own jobs. Each of them have their own functionalities to perform. All right, so what are the different modules and the respective hardware models? Um, we'll go through that. And Nexus 7000, these are the devices in the entire Nexus family that support the concept of virtualization. So what is, or in terms of what, is virtualization supported on Nexus 7000? VDC, Virtual Device Context, all right? So what is Virtual Device Context? We will be discussing that in just two minutes. So once we are done with Nexus 7000, then we move on to Nexus 5000. So Nexus 5000, these are distribution layer switches. Again, there are two series under this. There's a 5500 series, 5600 series. What are the differences between these? Series? Um, they are, both of them are fixed, okay? So there are no modules that you have to insert. So what are the respective um, hardware models that are available? And what is the speciality of Nexus 5000? Nexus 5000 are considered as SAN switches. That is because they have unified ports. Unified ports means ports that, that can be converted from Ethernet mode 
to fiber channel mode and vice versa right so what is ethernet mode fiber channel mode we all know ethernet mode your uh, the interface works as an ethernet port giving you connectivity towards lan and at the same time you can also convert that particular interface into a fiber channel uh, port so that it can get you connected towards the san storage area network so how is it that you can convert your interfaces we will be discussing all of that under this nexus 5000 the last hardware is nexus 2000 so nexus 2000 switches you might all know they are extremely dumb switches they cannot do local switching as well they do not have any operating systems they do not have um any console port no asic present on them absolutely no intelligence all right so they are only used to expand your fabric that's why they are also called as fabric extenders in short fex so what are the different series there's 2200 2300 what are the differences between them and what are the available hardware models all of these we are going to be discussing and the nexus 2000 okay so once these topics have been done then we will be moving on to nexus technologies technologies that are supported on all of these devices all right so before we move on to technologies we will also be going through a couple of differences between nexus operating system and ios all right so once we are done with the hardware then we move on to technologies so the first technology that we will be looking at is vdc virtual device context so what is virtual device context this is a virtualization technology that is only supported on nexus 7000 as of now so what happens with vdc is that from 17k box from 17k device you can create multiple 7k switches multiple virtual switches each of them having their own set of planes you, they in, they act or they behave as independent virtual switches all right so how many of these virtual switches can you create um what happens to the processor what happens to the software capabilities of the actual device how are they all shared we will be discussing all of that under virtual device context vdc okay as of now only supported on x7000 where from 17k box you can create multiple virtual switches next is vpc virtual port channel so virtual port channel again is a nexus technology where you can get devi device level redundancy 